Hello, beautiful people. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are doing okay. You guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, welcome back. So, in today's video, is actually prompted by a comment I saw on Facebook. Yes. So, somebody made a video about how life is difficult living in abroad. Because apparently, this person is living in Europe and he filmed himself and his friends where they were in a garden, kind of. They were picking fruit or something like that. And they made a video. They said, so after this struggle, after picking these fruits, what they are paid is 50 euros. And somebody in Nigeria will come and say, send me money, send me money, send me money. So they started laying curses on their village people, their families, whom they will send little amounts to, and they will not appreciate it. So people in the comment section were like, you know, you know, Nigerians, so many tantrums in the comment section. So I dropped a comment in that video. I said, what if you guys are underpaid or maybe slavery? Because I don't understand how you will work from 8 a.m. probably till 6 p.m. and you only get paid 50 euros. So I was like, that money looks small to me. And while I dropped that comment, I went ahead to go to the comment section of that video. And, and I saw a comment, which that particular comment prompted this video right now. So that person said, abroad is difficult. Is it everybody that will go to abroad? I will try and screenshot that um, comment. That's if I'll go back to that post, hopefully I will see that comment. So this person said, uh, um, abroad is difficult and everybody must not go to abroad. That is how UK content creators will tell you to apply to this job, apply to this, this company is recruiting, this company is recruiting. At the end of the day, all those information are false. Yes, he said all those information are false. What YouTubers are dishing out is false information. They already know that those outside the UK will not get the job. So yeah, let's talk about that. Let's discuss that. Whether this content, this YouTubers addition out, this uh, care homes of recruiting, agencies of recruiting, are they really false? I mean, like, are they just dishing out those information for content, like this person said? Because according to him, he has applied severally and he has gotten lots of rejection, so he has given up. So he believes this information these YouTubers are sharing are not real. Now, let's get right into the video. So, my own point of view based on this person's comment is, yes, those of us in the UK have higher chances. Like, we have the upper hand when it comes to getting a sponsored job, okay? Especially um, sponsored job that has to do with care setting. You know, the domiciliary, the healthcare assistant, the carer, care home, and the agencies. This person who said he has been applying and therefore these YouTubers that share this content, they are not giving the right information. Somehow, somehow, yes, some of this information these people share when they said um, this care home is recruiting, this agency is recruiting, apply fast, you know, all those kind of contents. The truth is most of those contents are channeled towards people that are already in the UK. Okay, when you click on those links, you see that those people are not accepting applications from abroad. And let's think about it. Like, why would an employer bring you in from abroad knowing that there are people who are already here in the UK looking for the same job, looking to work in the same position? So if I am an employer, honestly, I would rather take people who are already in the UK than you know, waiting to send you your course, you apply for your visa, probably you write your IELTS, wait for your visa to come out before you start coming. So the truth is, a lot of people here in the UK are looking for this sponsorship. And now with the influx of people coming in, so people who are already on tier 4 visa, when they come in, the partner or spouse immediately has already started looking for sponsorship so that they can change their visa immediately. So you get. So the truth is, these jobs are not scam. Majority of these openings, majority of these employers, these agencies recruiting, these employers giving sponsorship are very much interested in people who are already here in the UK. Like when you go on Indeed, there are lots of jobs with sponsorship, but they're looking for people here in the UK. They will tell you specifically not apply if you are from abroad. Do you get? 
now another thing i want to mention based on this um care job and you know offering sponsorships some of these jobs in fact let's say 60 percent of these jobs right now are domiciliary workers you know that is already nigeria you don't have domiciliary experience truth be told in nigeria we don't do domiciliary work yes yeah, some people do care jobs in nigeria like very few how many care homes are even in nigeria so these employers would prefer people who are already here that have experience with uk care setting or uk domiciliary setting i know that a lot of people have lost hope you know with content titling these companies are recruiting you hear on youtube and even on tiktok if people are coming into the uk via this care visa like because you did not get it you've applied right for 100 jobs 200 jobs probably 1000 jobs and you have not gotten any positive response doesn't mean that these jobs are fake they are not fake the thing is a lot of people now a lot of employers now are very much interested in people who are already in the uk i you know before when they initially started this scheme people we are getting like people we are genuinely getting these jobs like if you have been applying for this care visa and you have not gotten i'm gonna assure you keep applying you will get there are people who are just they didn't even express themselves maybe maybe their first 10 applications boom they got do you get so like i keep telling people grace differ some people will apply and they will get some people will apply and they will not get and some people when you come hard like this they will do like this and get what they want do you understand uh, so that option you can do is apply to the nhs yes and somebody asked me does nhs offer sponsorship yes nhs do offer sponsorship even to tier two of trust majority of the nhs trust offer sponsorship to tier three but there are still some trusts that offer sponsorship to tier two a friend of mine applied for a tier two role and she got a sponsorship yes i don't want to mention the trust but i will advise you especially those in the uk this advice is those of you that are in the uk i don't think nhs can bring you from nigeria to come and work as a healthcare assistant i don't think but if you're already here there's high chances that you can still get sponsorship in the nhs okay so this friend of mine she she applied for this bands to healthcare assistant and you know after the whole interview and the whole process she got a spot and when she was called and offered a job she said she asked them does this job have sponsorship and they said no because it's tier two we cannot offer you sponsorship she said okay sorry i cannot accept the job but after one week this trust called her back and asked her if she's still interested. This story I'm telling you is not even like, this one is not like, it's a story from a, a group or online. This happened to a friend of mine. When they called her back after like one week and asked her if she's still interested and that was how she got the tier two. So NHS sponsored both tier two and tier three, but it depends on the, there are still some trust up to date that do not sponsor healthcare assistant. Like even if you are band four, they will not sponsor you except you are from band five and above there are still some trusts that do not sponsor bands too but like i said for those of you in the uk to be on a safer side if you are applying to nhs jobs that are band two go through the job description you know when you see an nhs when you see any nhs um application there is a place this there's a place they write job description person specification and um there's always three things that they usually write so the first one is job uh, job description person specification and the third one when you click on the third one that's where you see if that job has sponsorship or not even if it's a tier two and it has it has that information of uh, consider um those who need sponsorship or not any nhs uh job opening that you see that has then there's chances that that job has a sponsorship no matter the band even if it's band two or band three so for those of you in the uk okay you can start looking out for that okay the next thing i want to say in this video is you guys beware of scammers i know this one is not even news anymore but um before you come for me i already taken permission from the person that shared this with me to talk about it on my channel okay so that was how this man sent me a dm that he has gotten a company that wants to sponsor him but the company asked him to you know and um he now came to ask me what do i think about this company so he sent me the details of the company and you know 
So when he sent me the details of the company, the first thing I did, you know, always go on Google and see what's up. Okay. So it happened that this agency, like they are impersonating a the real agency. Their name is slightly different from the real agency. I don't want to put name on the screen, you know, for security reasons. So when I searched on Google, I noticed that their name and this other agency that is the real one is almost the same. And you know, the funny thing is they copied this same logo from this other agency. So when I got, when I screenshot it, I sent to the guy, I told him, look at this and look at this. They look as if they are the same, but they are not the same. They are not the same. Another way I found out that the company was fraud was they told him the list of things he was supposed to pay. And the one that struck me was legal fee for his visa. He will pay for legal fee. And I was like, no, no way. In fact, this whole thing is screaming scam, scam, scam. Okay. And in that thing they sent to him, they told him they are going to be paying him 950 per hour. And I was like, 950 per hour doesn't even qualify for the minimum of 20,270. Is it 20,270 or 20,480? That you, that's which is the minimum amount you are supposed to get for you, for you to be qualified to get a sponsorship. So I now told him 9.5 is low. Even when you are paid 9.5 is not up to the 20,000 plus the government of UK said you should get at least a year for you to qualify to apply for the healthcare visa. I, so there are other informations that didn't really go well with me that I pointed out to the guy that confirms that those people he's talking with are scammers. I know that a lot of people want to jabba, but while you are planning to jabba, also look out for the red flags. Like some people are willing to, you know, in order to get the cause. But then, are you looking out for the red flags? Look out for the red flag because see all these agencies. Normally, you're not even supposed to do like this before you get cause. Do you understand? Because if you are caught and in the process, then you don't enter while lap with that. Some of these agencies are using this as an opportunity to loot some people. Yes. A lot of them are using this as an opportunity to lose some people. Some of you just have to be careful. You see, this immigration jabbering thing is putting some people under pressure. So before you do this, before you, you know, give anybody your heart and money to do whatever immigration process for you, make sure that you are looking out for the red flags. So please do not fall praise to these predators. Yes, there are lots of them looking for who to exploit, looking for who to scam. All right, beautiful people, this will be the end of this video. Thank you for joining me in this one. Did you enjoy this video? If you did, please give this video a huge thumbs up, okay? And let me know what you think in the comment section about this video, okay? Until then, see you guys in my next one.